What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. I just couldn't start today without giving you that. That is, I'm just so fortunate to be waking up on the Gold Coast every single morning. If you're in Australia, if you're around the world, come to the Gold Coast because that is just incredible. Massive day today. I've got to go and do a furniture pickup at eight o'clock. So I've shot myself in the foot because the op shops don't open up till nine o'clock. So I'm going to go to my favorite coffee shop, sit down, answer a few comments on YouTube and Instagram. But uh, hopefully we find some heat. If it's hot as it is in the op shop as it is out here, we're going to be in for a good day. Um, hopefully we find some gold. I'll be taking you around for that. But look, ultimately, guys, you'll be coming around for a tour of my day today as a reseller. Um, so hopefully we learn a thing or two and find some cool items that you too can find and, and post up. But uh, hopefully a few sales along the way as well. Stoked to get into this one with you all. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Let's do it. chat with that lady that I picked the desk up off. It was an antique style desk. I'll show it a little bit later. I only paid $50 for it, but it's more about the story of how it came about to be listed on Facebook. She was downsizing her apartment. So with the coronavirus that's going on at the moment, that's why these furniture items are popping up so often um, and really underpriced. She was just wanting to get rid of it really quickly. I think that's going on a lot at the moment. So that's, I think, why furniture is just a sweet spot at the minute. People are trying to get rid of it. They're trying to downsize. Um, and that's where I'm trying to strike as much as I can. So um, she tried to sell me a bookcase as well for 20 bucks and I had to turn her down. I don't like to generally play with the bigger items, but um, yeah, look, 50 bucks for this antique desk. I'm probably going to move it for about 100, 150. It's a great start to the day. Um, obviously just uh, got on the coffee shop, got my comments back to everybody that's been watching and, and following on Instagram and YouTube. So that's awesome too. But we're at about nine o'clock now, so I'm pretty excited to get in this first op shop. Hope you are too. It'd be great to find an absolute ripper in the first op shop. So let's get into it. Hope we uh, find some gold. Fingers crossed. Okay, guys, stop number one. Um, I was pretty happy. Well, actually, I wasn't happy with stop number one because there was a lot of good stuff, but unfortunately, really poorly priced. You would have seen there, there would have been some brands like Calvin Klein, uh, Ralph Lauren, um, Adidas Shoes, some really great brands that you'd want to be buying, but the pricing was just... I think they obviously know that resellers are going in and picking out these items. So they actually had a separate rack that had all of those good brands and they upped the price on those. And then you went to the other sections, they had them really lowly priced, but obviously they weren't they weren't the items you wanted to be buying. I did find one item though, one item in the entire shop that I thought was a little bit underpriced, but it was still a great product. And that was these guys. These women's shoes. They're really white and bright. Wow. Anyway... Women's shoes, they are Steve Madden branded. So Steve Madden, great women's shoe brand. Um, they are in great nick and I think they're gonna sell for a little bit. On the bottom here, it's it does say the Lancer. So the, the shoemaker is, well, Steve Madden, Lancer. Um, I'll put the comps up here for you now, but 
Look, I paid eight dollars. I reckon I can get a few more for it. Um, hopefully, it results in a good win for me. It's only been the one win. Um, the other one as well, just a bread and butter item. A free coffee is the way I like to look at it. I'm going to be starting to buy a heap more board shorts. Now, the board shorts are great because we're coming into summer. It's starting to get a whole lot warmer here on the Gold Coast. So I bought them for $5. I don't like to spend more than 5 bucks for the boardies because I can sell them for 10 to $15. So the way I look at it is one or two free coffees with every single sale of the boardies, and they will go um, over the next couple of months. So I'll probably buy a fair few of those today. Um, look, want to look for a few more pieces of clothing and a few more shoes like these. Steve Madden's first stop of the day. Not too bad. We'll see how we go. Let's go. Stop number two. a pretty good run. I've done a couple of op shops in that little one. Now, I'm starting to think Q4 is just around the corner and Christmas present ideas are going to be one that you want to be looking for as a reseller. And I've been able to stumble across this guy. So, Operation, um, Finding Dory, um, really cool board game. This one is absolutely brand new. It is still wrapped up, ready to be purchased. And I did. It was five bucks. I reckon I can easily flip this on the comps that I'll put up for you now, as always. I'll put that up for about 30 bucks and I reckon that'll move. Only because it is still wrapped up and unused obviously a bit more value there um a standard classic in the books harry potter um cursed child i did a quick search on that that's about 15 bucks paid three um so awesome result there um again just thinking about the plush section and what's going to be coming up for christmas time bang hello that's that's pretty cool He's a big guy. Um, so big plush. I like to play in the big plush area, not the small plush. Um, he'll go for about 20 to 25 bucks, I'd imagine. I only paid $3 for him. Um, so that was really cool. And what else have I got for you? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, a pair of ASICs. Why wouldn't I? Because that's what I always do. So ASICs GT1000. Now, the GT1000, the, the 1000 is the, is the starting point of the GT series. Um, so I don't think it's going to be an absolute Gel Keanu type score here, but I really do think with these, I'll be able to move them for about $25 to $30. The shoe, yeah, the soles are pretty good. Um, now, as always with the ASICs, six bucks. So six bucks moved into 30. It's always going to be a 20 to $25 profit with the shoes. Um, I'll always get the ASICs. That one was just a great find. Not too many shoes actually today. I'm, I'm, I normally love finding my shoes, but I just found the one pair, but I focused a bit more on in my mindset around Christmas ideas because I reckon that's a good thing to be doing right now. Um, think about your Q4. Think about just stocking maybe a few items that you can use in, in November, December. Um, so a few items there. I've got another couple of op shops to do this morning, so let's keep moving. wrapped up op shop number three and four had some pretty good results here to show you guys which i'm, I'm stoked about because i might just leave it there for the day from the op shop front um i found these macbeth's shoes um now macbeth is um uh, from tom DeLong. um he's the creator now tom DeLong. for those of you who don't know he's the blink 182 uh ex blink 182 lead singer um now this is his shoe brand macbeth for anyone that's in i guess the the music industry they do know this brand well and they do buy from uh you know obviously the macbeth brand um they only cost me as you can see there four buckaroos so awesome result there i used to buy the macbeth myself because truth be said i am a blink 182 fan um, so that was a good result there for four dollars. I also found the Samson and Taylor boots. Now these were in really good condition, and I did pay twelve dollars, so I shelled out for them. But Samson, 
the Samson and Taylor, I should say, is a great brand of shoe. Um, and that color, I reckon, I reckon people are going to go for it. So these will go up for about $25 to $30. Uh, I'll put the comps up there. Hopefully I'm right because I didn't even check the comps. I just bought them. I mean, they're just in, they're just in great nick. Um, so I bought those. I'll tell you what wasn't in great nick, but I still thought I should buy them because they are the Converse All Stars all leather. Now, all leather, as you can see, they're a bit average. Um, I only paid $3 three bucks. So I had to buy them for $3. I've just sold a pair of brand new leather ones, um, Converse All Stars for 30 bucks. So I've paid three for these. I probably don't get the 30 because they are a bit cut up. If you can see on the bottom there, there's a bit of, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like the wear and tear on them, but I reckon I'll get about 15 to 20 bucks on those. So that was a good result. Um, look, I bought the hats. This is a Herschel cup. I'm going to keep this. That's not going on at eBay at all. Really happy with that. That's normally about 20 bucks in the shops, maybe even more. Um, I did buy four um, Fearless or Fitless. Look, I'm not a golfer, but I know people are. So I've got three caps there. Um, that was a good result. So good run on the caps, actually. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, heap of shoes. I bought, oh, I bought a few more shorts. Um, the shorts weren't exactly board shorts, but they were your Adidas style running shorts. Now, they'll be $10 to $15 each. I bought about three pairs of those. And then I did find another pair of coffee makers, um, the board shorts here from Billabong. So size 36 waist, um, plenty of interest in those, especially coming into summer. Um, I reckon I'll get about 15 bucks for those as well. So look, at the end of the day here, guys, it's been an all right run. I've luckily picked up a fair, fair few shoes there on my, on my second run. So I've bought five pairs of shoes for the day. Uh, for those of you playing at home, I've spent $150 plus if you have a look at the furniture, I'll maybe upwards, actually no, I'm $150 including the furniture, $100 in the op shops um, and then $50 on the furniture. I've bought about 15 items. So I've got to get back to the house and I've got to list all those because as you know, that's what I like to do. I like to go back and put them all into the system and then I can begin listing in the afternoon and get them done. Um, the other thing I'll do as well is I've got to get this furniture out of the car and I want to show you it. I want to show you what I bought, why I bought it. I want to show you the cleaning products that I use as well to clean up the furniture because that's such a big part of this game is you buy your furniture and then you really do it up to present it well and then you take great photos to make it pop so i'm going to show you that for anyone interested in doing furniture um yeah so let's get on to it i don't know what i'll do for the rest of the yard but we'll uh we'll, we'll certainly be busy so let's go so this is the desk guys I picked this up for 50 bucks. Um, it's an absolute ripper. You can see here just the detail in the make. It was just really good woodwork done on this one. Um, the drawers are super deep. Um, so that was a really cool feature too. It's on runners as well. So there's really good stability in the desk. Um, it was just like an antique style. Now I like to go with the white sort of Hampton style look. Um, but every now and again, I'll find an antique piece kind of like this. And when it's priced at $50, it's just going to be worth a whole lot more to somebody. So. Um, the drawers up here as well, kind of cool, two small little ones, so there's actually four drawers above. Um, so four above and then you've got a little hidey hole in the middle there, um, in here as well for extra storage. So it's a true antique style piece in my mind. I'm going to list this up for about $225, try and make $175 bucks on it and I reckon I should. It's a really nice piece. Um, I've got to obviously do a lot of cleaning to it. So what I do with my cleaning products is this is the furniture polish that I like to use which I'll get into a little bit later. Um, so it's the Osida or Osida um, furniture polish, works really, really well. You only need a little dab. I'll put that little dab onto a rag like this. And really, once I've done a dab, I can pretty much get two or three pieces of furniture done with it. You just don't need a lot. Um, and I also use this. Uh, so I use this one as well. So gumption. Um, so get yourself some gumption. Um, you should be able to find it at your local Bunnings or anywhere else or any of your hardware stores. Gumption's great. Now I use a toothbrush. So I'll use a toothbrush and I'll just do a dab of gumption and I'll get in and I'll do all the little grooves. So any little bits and pieces where there's, there's sort of you know dirt stuck in between, I'll try and dig it out with the gumption. So the gumption just erodes all the dirt away. Um, so that's pretty much everything I do. I'll, I'll wipe it down. I've got some sugar soap as well. I don't have the bottle, but it's in the cupboard. Um, so sugar soap with a bit of water, hot water, wipe it all down, then put the, uh, the gumption into the nitty gritty bits and then finish it off with the, uh, with the furniture polish to really make it pop. So I'm going to do that to this boy this afternoon. I'm going to whack him up for sale on Facebook Marketplace at $225, hope to make $175 from it. And hopefully it sells really quickly and I can show you in a what sold video on Sunday how much money I made.
car that I really just missed. I think it's pretty cool. I bought this. So, it's a 1980 Queensland Maroons uh, State of Origin jersey. So, just a plain maroon jersey, but these are really cool. And I only paid $7 in the op shop. So, um, the, where is it? That there. I've got to do a bit of research, but it's got the retro classic tag on the bottom. So I'm hoping that means something authentic. Probably not, but it's still, you can tell it's a really nice make. Um, and yes, for $7, I was like, Ooh, that could be some money. So I thought I'd show you that one as well. So I'm always on the lookout for sporting gear, if it's jerseys or if it's tops or anything like that. Um, shorts even, I'll always be on the lookout for sports gear. That was my sports gear item for today. So I've just crunched the numbers, guys, and I actually bought 22 items. And all in all, it worked out to a total spend of $107. So... Uh, right on the money there with what I said before, with I think I spent about the 100 bucks and then obviously the furniture piece on top for 50. Um, so I spent about $157 today. Now the average cost of goods just for what we bought in the op shop was $4.86 for my 22 items. So to get a cost of good under $5 per item, I think these are all going to sell really well. So um, there's going to be some good profit to be made. I think I've picked the right items because they have been great brands. They have been good condition and they've worked out to be less than $5 a piece. So um, that's great. What I need to do this afternoon though is I need to make sure I list everything because part of my process when I buy my items is I don't like to create a death pile. In fact, I don't like to create a pile at all. I like to get to the end of the day and make sure that anything that I've bought has been listed and stored and that way it's just going to alleviate the stress of looking around and seeing a monster pile of stuff to get done. Um, I don't think you can go out and just continually keep buying if you're not actually putting in the effort to go and list the item. So I'll always try and make sure that I list it. And luckily today being quarter to one, I've got a bit of time to get it all on. Also too, I think that Thursday's a really good day to start listing your items as well because the weekend draws, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a lot more people on eBay trying to buy an item. Um, so Thursday is a crucial day, I think, to get all your items on eBay if you've got anything left over throughout the week. So it's about four o'clock now, guys. I don't have any Facebook Marketplace collects uh, this afternoon and no eBay sales as well overnight to have to go to the post office for. Normally on a Thursday afternoon, I'd go out to the post office and get rid of the mail uh, before five o'clock, but today I don't have to. There wasn't any sales. So that's all right, that happens. Uh, I had a good week to start the week and then today's just been a quiet day. So that's just the way it works. Um, gone ahead and done all that furniture cleaning, really happy to get them up and published. So hopefully they do sell over the next few days. Um, I've also listed all the clothing that I bought today as well and all the plush toys and things like that. So that's all up on eBay. I do need to go and do some cleaning of the shoes, which I'm about to go and do now. So I'd like to try and get them all nice and sparkly before I go and list them. So I've still got to go and do that. Um, but really that's about it. Full day done. Um, it's been a big day. Got a few items, uh, listed a few items. Really, this is the process. I do this just every single day um, and the results do come. So just keep working at it. If you're in the same boat and you're going out grabbing your items every day, uh, just make sure that you're listing your items every day as well because that's the only way you're going to get the sales come in at the end of the day. So um, thanks very much for watching, guys. If you've made it through to this part of the video, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Clearly, uh, you're into your reselling and you, you want to be learning more. So that's what this whole channel is designed to do. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you got anything out of this video. And uh, yeah, I will catch you on Sunday in the What's Sold video. Thanks very much, guys. See you soon.